What's good, peeps? Welcome to the channel. I hope you're all having a great day. Today, we'll take a look at the origin story of a character I expect to see in the MCU soon. I wouldn't be surprised if he popped up in the She-Hulk series, since he and Titania have a very intertwined history. If this happens to be your first time visiting the channel, what we do is cover the origin stories of comic book characters, especially those coming to, or rumored to be coming to, live action. So if you like knowing the comic book origins of the characters you're watching, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications so you stay up to date on all the origins of your favorite characters. So who is the Absorbing Man? Let's find out. His true name is Carl Krill, and he went by the nickname Crusher. Carl had taken to boxing as a young man and worked his way in to becoming a contender for the heavyweight title. But his dreams of becoming the champ were crushed when he lost a match to Jack Murdoch. To support himself, Krill turned to crime. He ended up eventually being convicted of aggravated assault and sentenced to serve prison time. Loki, the Norse god, was looking for a pawn to use against his brother Thor. He picked out Krill and slid a magical potion in his drink that gave him the power to absorb the properties of anything he touched. Krill used his new powers to break out of prison. It wasn't long until he ran into Thor, and with his new powers he was able to hold his own against the god of thunder. To win the battle, Thor transformed the elements that Krill was absorbing into helium, leaving Krill unable to control his gas form, and he dissipated into the air. Krill, as the absorbing man, can absorb the properties of anything he touches. That power even extends to whatever the ball and chain he typically carries touches. It can be living, inanimate, or even the form of energy. He's not limited into becoming just one form. For example, if he were to absorb a city building, his form could simultaneously be wood, cement, glass, and any other material used in the construction of the building. Typically, though, he absorbs specific properties of what he is absorbing, such as the spikes off of a mace. If his body is broken into pieces while in an altered state, he can piece himself back together. After dissipating, the absorbing man didn't stay gone for long. Loki was scheming once again and used his power to restore him. Loki transported the Absorbing Man to Asgard, where the Absorbing Man even absorbed the power of Odin. But Odin recovered and banished the Absorbing Man and Loki deep into space. While in space, he came across a comet and absorbed it and began heading back to Earth. Bruce Banner had piloted a ship out of the Earth's atmosphere to divert the comet from crashing into the Earth. He diverted the comet, but picked up an unwanted passenger. The Absorbing Man attacked, forcing Banner to transform into the Hulk. The Absorbing Man absorbed the Hulk's powers, but neglected to stop absorbing his powers as he returned to his Bruce Banner state. Krill was holding a large boulder when he lost the strength of the Hulk. To try and save himself, he absorbed the properties of the rock, but crumbled to pieces under the weight of the boulder. After piecing himself back together, he had numerous run-ins with numerous superheroes and was defeated almost every time. The Absorbing Man was one of the villains that were abducted by the Beyonder and taken to Battleworld. This is where he met Titania, his future wife. After the events of Battleworld, he and Titania joined the Masters of Evil, which dissolved shortly after. After other failed endeavors like rematches with Thor, the Hulk, and battling Quasar, Absorbing Man and Titania tied the knot and got married. He's had battles with quite a few heroes throughout his time outside of the ones I've already mentioned, like Spider-Man, Sentry, and She-Hulk. He has absorbed the powers of the Sentry, Hulk, along with others, and transformed into Uru and Adamantium. So that's the origin and a little of Absorbing Man's backstory. So what do you think are the chances we see him in the MCU with Titania? Drop your thoughts and theories down in the comments. As always, I appreciate you taking the time out of your busy day to stop by the channel and check out these videos. Please like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you again real soon. I'm out. Peace.